how everyone is doing. Um, so, X2D1 Pro. You have the X2D1 Pro. It's been a couple months that you were using it, and all of a sudden, X2D1 Pro 2.0. So, do you need to upgrade? Do you need to change it? No. Uh, here are the key differences between the X2D1 Pro and the X2D1 Pro 2.0. Number one, and the, the biggest of all the difference, is a red button on the corner, on the right front corner. Uh, we have the start and the stop button, the little golden button. And now we have a red button. Uh, this one is an emergency stop. So whenever you are having a problem on anything you're running, you just hit the button down. And if you need to start again the machine, you need to twist the button, you know, like clockwise. So you twist the button, this pops up, and you are ready to play with your laser again. Of course, you need to be connected to power and all that. Uh, number two, another of the biggest differences is the gantry is being upgraded. So now the gantry that comes stuck with the machine is the gantry that you get when you buy the 40 watt upgrade. Excuse me for all these noises around. The 3D printers are gone. And once you have the 40 watt, you remember the big kit is was a big box, new gantry that has a new carrier with the new limit switches, with a new stopper for the limit switches, a new motor, and of course a new member. This one came with a new member already. So you want to upgrade for a 40 watt. This is a ready upgrade machine for the 40 watt. So you only need to get the module. Now, if they are selling or not the module alone without the whole kit, I'm not quite sure. Another of the differences in this machine is the limit switch. So the limit switch here, you will see that has like a bigger limit switch on the front. It has a couple of notches, extra notches there. The reason of that is the modules are different sizes and with the 40 watt they change it they give you this piece separately now it's coming with the laser so when your laser goes to the front it doesn't hit the frame it actually stops because you can move this forward so this actually give you the advantage to move back on the limit switch so you have the room to play footprint and overall working area is exactly the same that hasn't changed uh it still is the love it d1 which is their main machine uh still on the market their software has been upgraded multiple times since this machine was out for the first time and it's a really fairly robust software you can do pretty much everything you need out of the box um, with that being said, the machine still have all the safety features that we love and we like, the flame detection, the tilt detection, and so on and so forth. If you notice that my honeycomb, I move my machine and my honeycomb is there, it's because I'm using the new, we have a new design on the honeycomb alignment that actually is a low profile, so people with no extension legs can use this, and you can actually message us and request low profile if you need it, or taller if you have an extension like so you want to rate your honeycomb uh, we do that also but everything else in this machine is exactly the same you can keep buying the same accessories and same things that you always want to get uh, the question is if you have d1 pro can you upgrade it to d1 pro 2.0 no it's a completely different frame it's still in the front. It has a different hole, different position, and a different member. So the closest you can get is buying the 40 watt upgrade. With the 40 watt upgrade, you get all the rest except for the emergency stop. Other than that, they are both the same machine. So there you have it. If you like the quick review, you like the quick walk around what this machine has, uh, please subscribe, like our videos and help us to make more videos and if you have questions or any comments please leave it below and I will respond as soon as possible to everyone.
Thank you, Wayne. Fire the laser. <laughs>